There are so many ways of making massive amounts of money with no previous skills using AI. That means you too are capable of having a hugely profitable side hustle that'll bring consistent money into the bank with you having to do some work up front, but then sitting back to watch the cash roll in. Today, we're going to focus on one really popular but effective way of doing this, and that's through AI-generated clip art. So what do you need to get started? You're going to use a few tools to get your hustle off the ground, but the two main platforms you need are ChatGPT to give you ideas for your cash generation, and then Midjourney, an image creating app that'll give you the artwork that people are going to want to buy. Both of these are stupidly easy to use, quick, and won't need any prior knowledge, so literally anyone can get started. With these, you're not going to set up a side hustle that's going to make a few pennies next to your day job, but instead has the potential to make thousands of dollars. So many people have already done this, and here's how you can be the next. But why clip art? That's because it has so many use cases. People love doing DIY creative projects, but they need artwork to make their creations stand out. This could be gift cards, classroom posters, customized t-shirts, digital presentations, or scrapbooking, and the list doesn't stop there. What you're going to do is provide a creative solution to make other people's creations like these look great, and you're going to let AI do all the hard work. Over 1 billion people use design tools like Canva for their projects, and they're all looking for ready-made art creations to add to their projects. If you go to Etsy and search for things as simple as teddy bear artwork, you'll find thousands of five-star reviews, meaning that there's a huge market just for these kinds of images. And this is just one niche you can go down. Digital prints like this represent a lot of profit, especially if they sell at the volumes they're currently doing on platforms like this. And the good news is that AI can do almost every step for you. First, go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate 10 to 20 ideas for clip art niches. This will bring back very general results. Choose one of these you like the look of and use ChatGPT to refine even further. Ask it to come up with 10 to 20 sub niches based on whatever you choose to hone in on. Next, go to a platform like Etsy where you can see the competition and have a look at existing listings to see how much demand there is for each sub niche. Make a choice based on this data. Once you've made your decision on what you want to be making artwork on, then go to Midjourney, which you can use to generate your creations. You could use another AI image generating platform if you want, but Midjourney has a great reputation and is tried and tested. The key thing here is to use the most accurate prompts you can to get the best results. Use simple and common words linked to your niche you found earlier as a basis, then make the phrase more specific. For example, a rainbow-colored butterfly flying around a field of flowers during a sunset is much better than just saying a butterfly. Make sure you combine adjectives that best describe the image you're expecting to get back. Words like beautiful, colorful, detailed, intricate, massive, powerful are all useful, but use whatever adjectives will make your clip art generate in the style you want. Make sure you also include clip art in the prompt, as this is the style we're focusing on. If you're struggling with prompts, there are plenty of tutorial videos online that can help you. Also, don't be afraid to refine your prompts a few times to get better results back from Midjourney. Alternatively, for some quicker learning and more effective prompts, you can also pay for a course like the one offered by Ken Blutman, which will help you to refine prompts and get better results, as this might save you time in the long run by making your prompts more effective, faster, and having a space for your learnings to refer back to if needed. But this is optional. There are plenty of free resources out there on this. Once you've got the results you want, your image is likely to come back with a background, which will need to be removed. For clip art, your customer will expect to see a transparent background so they can easily add to their creations. Adobe Express has a free background remover, which you can use to automatically give your artwork this effect. Run the image through the tool and you're ready for the next stage, which is upscaling. AI doesn't just have great tools for ideas and artwork creation, it's also available to increase the quality of your art. Midjourney might give great results in terms of creativity, but it's not that great when it comes to the quality of the image. And this is crucial if you want to make money from your art. There are lots of AI-based tools that can help you with this, including Upscale.media, Big JPG Upscaler, and Advanced AI Upscaler. Run your artwork through any of those to get results that will improve your pixel quality, and now your images are ready to take to market and start making some money. 
Just make sure you bundle all relevant images up using zip folders as this will be important later. There are four marketplaces that are the best to sell on and each of these get massive amounts of traffic, already have people making money through AI clip art, but all are different in terms of how they work. The first is Etsy. This is the most obvious platform to choose and the one that's most well known. It has over 450 million monthly users and is arguably the first place people think of when it comes to anything artistic or creative. On this platform, what you're trying to sell is your clip art bundle. As Etsy is a creative marketplace, it has many other creatives in search of unique elements to improve their projects. This is your market. Upload as many clip art bundles as you can on Etsy using the right keywords. You'll need keywords with a low and healthy competition of less than a thousand search results, which also have as much demand as possible as well. As ChatGPT is essentially limitless, these keywords shouldn't be too difficult to get. And don't worry about being a new seller on Etsy. New stores there can get good sales in less than three months of selling on Etsy if you target the right buyers. Creative Fabrica is another marketplace to sell your artwork. It's known for being really popular for clip art and Canva templates and has far less competition, but with a healthy 8.7 million customers every month. Selling on this platform is really easy as well. Just create your account, apply as a seller, and once you get accepted, upload your clip art bundles like you did on Etsy. You can upload the same bundle to each of these platforms. A different route you can go down is selling on Freepix and Adobe Stock, turning your artwork into stock images. Before artificial intelligence was popular, professional photographers and artists used to put their time into creating images. Now, some platforms are happy to accept AI art as well and you can get paid for it. The concept of stock images lets artists be paid passively for their images by the people who use them. Midjourney with good prompts lets you become a photographer or artist. Selling on Adobe Stock and Freepix doesn't cost anything and you'll make money according to how many images you upload and how many people download them. There are sellers making hundreds of dollars each month selling AI-generated art. But with these sites, just remember to upload your clip art images one by one, rather than the bundles for the other platforms we've looked at. And the last option is to convert your art into stickers. There are platforms like Redbubble, TeePublic and Zazzle, where those platforms will convert your artwork into stickers and take care of production and shipping. Redbubble gets 26 million users a month, so it's definitely worth doing. These companies are known as Print On Demand, where a provider lets artists upload digital copies of their art as listings on the front end and then takes care of the rest. But for this way of making money, you'll need to be a little more creative to make the most of the marketing opportunity. Stickers tend to have some humor attached, so we need to get back into GPT and add something funny to our sticker design. Let's say you choose a monkey as your artwork. You'd then ask ChatGPT for funny monkey quotes. You could then add something like, life is bananas and so am I, to a sticker template in Canva, alongside your artwork, and you're good to go. But what's stopping other people from just doing this rather than buying your creations? That simple. People want to save time and effort. A bit of upfront time and effort from yourself will give you a massive passive income, all with minimal work, thanks to AI.